Hello, Taurus. This is your ex reading for the 24th through the 30th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Taurus. What's going on for my Tauruses? Let's see what your current situation is for my Taurus friends. Hmm. Wrapping something up. Completed a cycle. You guys accomplished something here. And um, I feel like you're going into a new cycle. Um, you're, there's a possibility, I feel like, some of you are wanting to um, bring something back around, is what I'm getting here. Some of you are actually traveling currently. And some of you are actually tra traveling to see someone. Or that's what you're wanting to do. Okay. Let's see what's going on with your ex. What's going on with your ex currently? Taurus ex. Queen of Cups. I feel like this person is trying to... Um, they're trying to reconcile their feelings. Um, because if you notice here with this Queen of Cups... It's like she's offering a cup, but she has her head turned. Like, you know, she feels uneasy showing emotion. And I feel like this person is currently, um, you know, they're, they're trying to get emotionally stable. They're trying to open up and receive love and give love at the same time. It's like this is somebody that probably struggled in the past with, um, you know, offering their emotion. Not emotionally mature. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how you look at them. How do you see them? How does Tar see their ex? Yeah. You see them as a page of swords. This is a very young energy. Now, some of you, of course, could be, you know, in your early 20s, you know, mid 20s. But. This is more of the energy of the person. Um, you can see them as immature. You can see them as, you know, this is somebody that you, they don't say a whole lot. They just kind of observe and watch you and, you know, you know, you'll never know what they're thinking. So I feel like, you know, this person you feel like is, um, you know, they hide a lot of things. They don't really open up. They feel a lot. You just don't see it. You just don't know it. And they just don't tell you. You know, you don't know what to think about them. I feel like they're mysterious, this person. Hmm. Let's see how they think, what they think about you. What does Taurus's ex think about Taurus? Hmm. Hmm. Some of them think that you guys have gotten into a serious relationship here with the Ten of Pentacles. And they feel like they've lost you because um, they're thinking about the things that they didn't give you. Thinking that it may be too late that you're involved with someone else here. Kind of sitting back observing you. Wondering, you know, is it still a possibility? That if I come and show them what they've asked me before, that, you know, I could have this Ten of Pentacles with them. That I could be back with Taurus, be in a relationship, possibly, you know, get married. Because that may be what you guys wanted previously. Does not have to be that way, though. But they definitely feel like they've lost you and that you are involved in a committed relationship currently. Yeah. But they want you. They want you. They feel like, you know, they've lost you. Too little, too late almost, you know. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. Taurus's feelings about getting back together here. Hmm. I think this relationship brought you a lot of disappointment, a lot of heartache that you are not too keen about revisiting. 
I think there's probably too much water under the bridge. And I think that, um, I don't think you are open currently to this person. And they, they know this. They feel this. They know that they've hurt you. They're observing you. They're observing you. They know they've hurt you. They also have some heartache. And I'm not sure if it's to the extent that, you know, you guys are hurt. But I feel like their hurt is stemming more from, you know, what they failed to do in the past. And maybe that, you know, they didn't, you know, think about working on themselves sooner and approaching you sooner before you got involved with someone here. Let's see how they feel about getting back together here. Oh my goodness. They are obsessed about it. They are obsessed about, oh my gosh, and I feel it so strongly. This person that you guys are dealing with, um, they are holding on to what you guys had so very strongly. Look at this. They're obsessed about you. They're obsessed and like really kind of panicking about you guys being with someone else because I get the feeling that they never thought that that you would be with anybody other than them because maybe you guys had this kind of relationship where it was always kind of on and off. You guys would get into it, break up for a short period of time and then get back together kind of like that back and forth. And now it's like um, they're feeling like they've lost you and they are really attached and very possessive of you um and obsessed with this connection they're really kind of holding on to it really watching you watching your moves on social media um you know thinking about what they've done to you all of that stuff there wow let's see how you guys can help this situation if you want to help this situation let's see um, I think that with this line beside um, the Three of Swords, if you wanted to help this situation, it would be, it would be in your best interest to kind of reconcile, you know, what actually disappointed you. In the connection um, maybe you know shift your perspective maybe be a little more open because I think you're closed off here with the three of swords because you're still holding on to it some of you do not want this okay and so the only way for you to really open up and um, you know open up to them is to you know, if you are in a relationship, to end that and to let go of whatever heartache, whatever pain you are holding on to currently, um, let it go. But again, like I said, I don't know if you guys even want to, to be honest with you, because I think, you know, like I said before, there's just way too much water under this bridge. You see that up under there? There's way too much water there. There's way too many things that have happened, transpired. And I think you're just like, you know, you're, you're wanting to be done with it. You just want to be done with it. I think you feel like it's time for it to just be done. You know, yeah, you guys have gotten back together several times in the past, but I think you're just wanting to be done with it at this point. Let's see what, what they can do to bring this back together. Hmm. I think, you know, for them, this right here, with their head turned to one side and the cup to the other, uh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. They need to come right out with it, tell you they want to start over. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is the ending, okay? This is them, you know, coming to you, approaching you with a brand new stable offering to start again 
but you're going to have to see that you know there's solidarity in this offer that they make you're going to have to see their head turned around facing this cup looking you in your eyes and being very genuine here and that may or may not work okay who knows because only you guys know what this person put you through let's see what you guys can do to bring this thing back together what are the how can you help how can Taurus help bring this thing back together hmm. I think it's just basically to decide that you know this is where you want to be because I think right now this is not where you want to be I just don't think so this is you being open to them being open to the possibility of being a commit in a committed relationship with them once again. Offering your emotions and support to them once again. This is changing because I feel like right now it's like, you know, you guys are, you know, you're not having this. <laughs> For a lot of you. Let's see how they can increase the chances of you guys getting back together here. Opening up, opening their heart, investing, investing their time and energy into this relationship if they really want it to work. Stop being so closed off. Stop acting so aloof, um, thinking that's macho or thinking that's, you know, delicious or whatever. You know, this is what they can do. Open up, be genuine. Hmm. Tell you what they want. Not a freaking mind reader, you know. Let's see what is the potential outcome for this situation here. The potential outcome for my Taurus friends. The potential outcome. What's the potential outcome here? Ooh, the chariot. This could be successful, but if this person comes with a solid offer, a legitimate, genuine offer of wanting reconciliation with you, showing you that they, they're going to open up, showing you that they're going to be there for you regardless, and if you decide that you want to give them another chance. Now, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start doing an extended version of this. And I will, like with the chariot, you know, that is like a very positive possibility that this can happen. So what I'm going to start doing in the extended, if I pull a positive card like this, I'm going to pull another card um, just to see, you know, the probability of when. Okay. If these changes were to occur. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. And um, I will be speaking with you guys soon.